Hey guys, so I have a bunch of different switches that I use in my home lab, but this eight port $109 switch that I bought like three or four years ago is about to become the most important switch that I own. And it's because of VLANs, but in order to understand why it's because of VLANs, we kind of have to take a step back. So Ubiquiti sent me two UDM Pro Max devices a few months ago in order to set up shadow mode. And that's what I've been using. The first one is what I've been using for a lot of these tutorials, but I'm interested in setting up shadow mode at this point. And the biggest challenge that I have is I have to split up my internet connection. So the easiest way, if you have one ISP connection is to use an unmanaged switch. Basically you plug the ISP connection directly into an unmanaged switch, and then you'd go in and plug in two of the other ports into the primary UDM and the secondary UDM. Now with two internet connections, you can basically do the same exact thing using two different unmanaged switches. And for redundancy purposes, it's technically better if you do it that way, but I really don't wanna add two switches. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be using an eight port switch with VLANs. And basically what we're gonna do is configure that eight port switch to have two different internet VLANs, one for the primary and one for the secondary. And then at that point, I'd plug the primary into one port, the secondary into the other, configure two ports for each internet connection, and then plug those two ports directly into the Unify firewalls. Now again, from a redundancy perspective, this isn't the best because there's a single point of failure. But the reality is I don't have redundancy in the rest of my network. So I'm really doing this to just showcase how this feature would work. And I will technically have two different firewalls that will automatically switch over using shadow mode if one happens to go down. But since I don't have redundancy for the rest of my network, this is the path that I'm going to use. So I wanna jump right into it. And what I ultimately wanna show you at this point is that I have two ISP connections currently plugged in to one UDM Pro Max. It's basically just doing basic failover at this point. And I also have a policy created so that my guest network will automatically use the secondary WAN connection rather than the primary WAN connection and fall back to the primary if the secondary happens to go down. In terms of configuration, that's the only thing that's done. Now in the help article for Unify Shadow Mode, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom here, what you'll see is if I wanna use automatic failover, but I only have one connection from my ISP, how can I split the ports? And what they recommend you do if you're using a Unify switch is to create a new VLAN and set the router to third-party gateway. So that's basically what we're gonna be doing at this point. So I'm gonna head over to my VLANs and I'm gonna create a new VLAN. I'm gonna call it primary internet and rather than using the UDM Pro Max, I'm gonna switch this to third-party gateway. And at that point, we really don't have any configuration that we have to do other than a VLAN ID. And I'm just gonna set this to 998. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add it. And then I'm gonna create a second VLAN. I'm gonna call it secondary internet, change this to third party gateway. And I'm gonna set the VLAN ID to 999. At that point, we have both of our VLANs created. Now, before we go and configure the switch, I wanna set my port profiles so that they don't pass these VLANs through to the rest of the network. So as you can see on these ethernet port profiles, I basically just created one for all of the VLANs that I end up passing through. And this makes this step very easy because at this point, I don't have to go back to all of the ports and manually configure them. I'll just change it here and then it will automatically update all of my ports. Now I have this step in a video. If you're interested in seeing it, I'll leave a pop-up for that now. But basically the first one we have to modify is this management. And currently it's allowing everything because this is what's used for my switches, access points and stuff like that. So we're no longer gonna be able to do that. So what we're gonna have to do is rather than select allow all, we're gonna select custom. And then we're basically gonna pass through everything except for the primary and the secondary internet. I don't want anything from the switch level down to be able to tag these VLANs. I'm gonna save that and then I'm gonna apply the changes. Now these other ones, surveillance is set to block all, IOT is set to block all, as well as the development VLAN. The only other one that's set to custom is trusted. So I'm just gonna come in here and ensure that it's unchecked and it is. So from a port profile perspective, if we go back and check on one of our ports, I'll just pick this one for example, what you'll see is that it is automatically using that port profile. And at this point it is configured with only the VLANs that we wanna pass through to it rather than everything. So again, super easy that I was able to just basically go in and update those port profiles and all of my switches are currently updated with the correct setting. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to configure 
this light eight PoE switch that I'll be using. So I'm basically just gonna use the first three for the primary internet, the second three for the secondary internet. I'm not gonna create port profiles for this because quite honestly, this is only where it's gonna be. So what I'll do is I'll select all three of these. I'm gonna change this to primary internet and I'm gonna block everything else. We can apply those settings. And then for the next three, we're gonna come in, we're gonna select secondary internet, we're gonna block everything, and then we're gonna apply these changes. So at this point, the ports are all configured the way that we need. The first three are for the primary internet, the second three are for the secondary internet. So what I'll do is in port one, I'll plug in the port directly from the primary modem into port one, and then for port four, I'll plug in the secondary modem directly into this port. And then at that point, port two will plug into the primary UDM Pro Max, port three will plug into the secondary, and then for ports five and six, they'll be the backup lines for the UDM Pro Max devices, which I set to port eight on those devices. So we're gonna start to configure shadow mode. And all I did at this point is basically just go in and plug in port one on the primary UDM Pro Max to the WAN port on the secondary Pro Max. And now that I did that, I can come into the control plane for the primary Pro Max and click to set up shadow mode. And then at that point, it will start to sync, which is what it's currently doing. Okay, so as soon as it finishes syncing, what we can do is enable automatic failover. And as soon as we do that, there's a few changes we're gonna have to make, but this will basically walk us through that process. So we're gonna select enable automatic failover and it'll start to prepare. And then what you're gonna see is we have to go in and plug in port seven to port seven. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Okay, so I just plugged those in and then at this point, we're gonna select verify to ensure it's all configured properly and it is. So then we're gonna select next. Okay, so once that's done, we can select next. And this is where we're gonna to have to unplug that cable and we're gonna to have to plug in our ISP connection. So this is where that switch that we configured comes in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug the primary ISP connection into the first port, the secondary into the fourth port, and then I'm gonna plug ports two and three for the primary connection into both UDM Pro Maxes and the same with ports five and six. Okay, so at this point, we are connected back up. So all the internet connections have been plugged in, the LAN connection has been plugged in, and if we go back to the internet section, you will see that everything is configured properly and we have an IP address from our primary and our secondary WAN connections. So that's awesome, that worked really well. So what we're gonna try to do at this point is try and simulate a failover. Okay, so at this point, we're just gonna test everything out. So I have a constant ping going to Google's DNS server, and I'm just gonna run downstairs and basically just unplug the primary UDM Pro Max. Okay, so it is currently unplugged. We're gonna see a few dropped connections here. We are dropped. Okay, we are picked back up. And now in the background here, the UDM Pro Max should be available in a few minutes. Okay, so at this point, we are felled over to the secondary UDM Pro Max. And what I quickly want to show is that the ISP connection will stay online. So in the internet section here, you'll see that our primary and our secondary is online. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go and kill the power to the primary internet connection and everything should stay back online. So remember the primary and the secondary are plugged into that switch where we configured the VLANs. I'm gonna unplug the primary and the secondary should stay online. Okay, so the internet connection's down. You see the uptime just dropped. I should have seen this status here. So in the status for the primary internet connection, you could see that it's unavailable, but we still have an internet connection because we're using the secondary. So we failed over from the primary to the secondary. We also then failed over from an internet perspective from the primary internet to the secondary internet. So at this point, everything worked as expected. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna go and plug back in the primary internet connection and I'm gonna plug in the primary UDM Pro Max as well. Okay, so I plugged everything back in and you will see those two drops are us basically switching from the secondary back to the primary. Okay, so you could see that we're back online now. Everything's plugged back in. Our primary is back to being online. If I go to the internet here, you'll see that our primary internet is back online again. And basically everything is starting back up on that primary UDM Pro Max. And at this point, our network is completely back online. 
So we had a successful failover test and a successful fail back to the primary UDM Pro Max. So a few notes that I think are important to be aware of. The first is that the secondary UDM Pro Max, when you fail over to it, it's in read only mode. So any changes that you make won't actually sync back to the primary as soon as it's back online. That's the first thing. The second thing is that the very first thing to come back online is gonna be your internet connection. But if you try and access Unify Network, the application itself, it's not gonna work. You gotta kind of wait for everything to boot back up. So overall, shadow mode is really very straightforward to actually set up and configure. The harder part would be if you actually had something like me where you have two ISP connections and you have to split them out, but even that isn't that hard. So I know this was a lot. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave those in the comments. But if you made it this far, thank you for watching. I will see you guys next time.